Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a um, a tour of each individual course that I have for that's available for purchase as a standalone course. Now, this is available for anybody who's interested. Uh, let me just find my uh, product page. Actually, anywhere if you go anywhere on my site. Quant Labs, whatever. You just come under the product page, and uh, what I've done is I've created three products, three courses. Uh, this particular video is for the algo trading components in Python. Really, it's just to give you a high level set of components, what you need, a walkthrough um, of all the different components that's needed in an algorithmic trading system. Now, these are the basics. You get the source code walkthrough with videos. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So if you come under view course, uh, you get the entire detail here. This works. There you go. Gives you an explanation of what's what. And what it will do is it will take you to a, um, let me just see if I can find it. Okay, here we go. So what will happen is when you log in, it will enable you to get this set of stuff. Now, this is what it looks like. Um, when you get access, you'll come under courses, uh, Python algo course infrastructure uh, building blocks. This is the one we're referring to. You won't have access, unless, if you buy only that, you won't get access to the other areas. The Facebook group's free, Instagram's free, the events are free that are listed here. But the idea here is it'll give you a rough walkthrough of the tour in this video. We also give you um, some uh, copy, if you are interested, on learning different uh, community stuff um, so we give you all those resources those are ongoing but here's the actual course itself when you load in what you'll do is you'll be introduced to this one first link and everything is sub is segregated into uh, units so what we got here is we've got everything broken up into the overview of automated trading and algorithms we also have why Python, setting up your Python environment, because I think that's probably the most complicated part. We also will give you um, uh, the different database options. Uh, there's the NoSQL using, op the, both of these are open source, MongoDB and Redis. And then we give you uh, a rough way to interact with Python through interactive brokers, which is easily the most popular uh, broker out there for this sort of thing for retail brokers market data source which is obviously free there's a demo of that and then we go into the pretty charts what I call pretty charts matplotlib and these other options that are available and then we have the GUI front end um, just as a caveat I find that the Python is really not built for fully fledged GUI graphical user interface um, things uh, I'm hoping in the next couple of months I'll have a, a, an iOS app, a, a mobile app, using Apple iOS, but that's another story. So anyways, to navigate through all this stuff, it's pretty simple. Just click on the first one. And again, let me just remind everybody here that everything's divided up by unit. So there's only one module in this particular course. So we'll go to the first module. What will happen is you get your content, you consume your content. Uh, Go to next unit. Actually, uh, that's not the way it will be introduced to you. So, let me just go back. So, what will happen is it you'll get a blue link that you have access to. So, in this case, we're we're currently only on the third unit. 
So if you click that, every unit operates the same way. Consumer content in the bottom will happen is you have to mark that unit as complete, that you've completed that unit. So you just go mark as completed, and that will enable you to advance to the next unit. Okay, so what's really happening here is if you go back to the list, it'll just enable you to go to the fourth unit, which we only had access to the third unit. But now we have access to the fourth unit. And uh, every time we mark is completed, we get a check mark of, of the actual units that we're completing. So if I go into the fourth unit, consumer content, mark is completed. And what you can do is you can go to the next unit, or if you want to go back, you can do that too. Okay. And then again, you can uh, uh, just individually go to whatever unit you want. In this case, the second unit. Pretty simple stuff. So just to add, hopefully no more confusion, is that there's lots of videos. Uh, there is source code available in the content that has it as an option, as well as a video code walkthrough. So in this case, let's say um, the MongoDB, um, there will be an option somewhere in here for a download. And then you can also uh, watch videos and blah, blah, blah. It'll, it'll walk you through all the basics of the database. Okay, so it's a pretty extensive course. Uh, it does use uh, Python 2.7, which is the older version of Python, but at the end of the day, Python is fairly easy to use to navigate or to move from to Python 2 to Python 3, which is the more modern version. This is still good enough to learn the basics of Python, and then as you get more advanced, you can move up to Python 3. And I can confirm that you can run both the Python 2 interpreter and the Python 3 interpreters in your same environment with no hassles. Uh, so it's pretty good uh, as you advance into the world. So my case here, if I run Python, um, get the version, you see here I'm running Python 2.173. But if I want to run the latest uh, Python 3, I just um, do this command here, Python 3 in my terminal, and then I get Python 3.61. So it's pretty straightforward, uh, and uh, you're off to the races. Okay, so with this, you'll be able to sh probably shave off a good number of years of frustration here. Not only that, but you also get to own the source code. It's yours. It's not like you're tinkering around on some cloud solution like, uh, dare I say, Quantopian or Quantiax or any of those solutions which... You have to upload your code to some remote server. These are, <coughs> this code can reside on your own server, which means you're not sending it anywhere. And you have total control and ownership of that source code, which is really critical. So hopefully this is really worthy uh, to go through. It is probably our most popular course, obviously, because at the introductory level. And I did mention about interactive brokers. If you are interested in doing more of a drill down of more detail, we have this other course, Interactive Brokers API, and just click on that view course under the products page right here, and then you get more details on that course. And I think that's really good if you want to use Interactive Brokers for a number of reasons, including uh, interaction with your database. Again, as I said, my database of choice right now is definitely 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 redis all right so that's the entire course hopefully you enjoyed that if you got any questions let me know uh, in terms of navigating what the course contains and hopefully uh, that'll answer a lot of your questions over and out later